Mississippi brought together education leaders, teachers, and researchers for a dyslexia conference focused on helping children. While Texas groups are doing a lot more to help students with learning disabilities, some adults who never got the right help continue to struggle. This KXAN's Amanda Brandeis shows us life can be challenging without support. People look at me and they think I'm normal and I'm not. Like, I would love to be normal. When Geraldine Webb Heredia remembers high school, the bad memories outweigh the good ones. All of it. Um, kids making fun of me, people pitying me, but my parents worrying all the time. Like, Diagnosed with dyslexia and ADHD, she got some accommodations throughout school. But after graduating, things got hard. First, she enrolled in community college. Three chapters would take me 16 hours. And that's just to read it. it doesn't mean I understand any of it. She couldn't hold a job for more than a few months. I just gave up. Now Geraldine works for her dad and prays her young son isn't dyslexic. But like kids, adults living with learning disabilities have rights. If you're dyslexic and you're in a job where you have a lot of reading to do um, and you need text-to-speech software, by law, your employer needs to provide that for you. Jamie Martin helps people with dyslexia through technology. He says adults living with learning disabilities need to be their own advocates in college and the workplace. But he agrees a lot more needs to be done to help people with hidden disabilities. You know, an app for that restaurant that you can find on your phone that will have an audio version of the, of the menu. Uh, so we're not quite there yet. You know, it's a day at a time. Geraldine is frustrated but not giving up, hoping to find resources that will help her finally feel normal. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. One local family went all the way to Washington to increase resources for children with dyslexia. Two years ago, Ben Cooper and his family shared the story with the State Board of Education. He had struggled in school until he was diagnosed with learning disabilities in reading. His story even got the attention of Congressman Lamar Smith, who authored a bill to encourage schools to diagnose children with dyslexia at an earlier age. That bill passed earlier this year. Yeah. Next.